guys, welcome to Michael's Magical Playhouse. Today, I'm going to be showing you all of my Pokemon stuff. Not counting your Pokemon cards, how many Pokemon things do you think you have? Probably 200. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you all of my Pokemon clothes. So, I have this one, Xerneas. Then I have this one. Here it is. Here's another one, Fennekin. And then all the way down here, there's another one right here. This is one of my favorite ones. I like it a lot because it's Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. The evolved evolutions, and there's this. Here it is. We're going to come back to the closet a little bit later. And some of you might have noticed that I also have a Pokemon rug. Let's go check out all the Pokemon stuff on my bed now. When you look at my bed, you see this is a Pokemon with a Pokemon ball in its hand. And there's another one with a classic Pokeball in its hand. And then, when you go to the top of the bed, it's like a Pokemon home. I have a Pikachu. Then, I have a Snorlax, Mewtwo. I have Lugia, I have Gengar, and Vaporeon, I have Hoopa, and Groudon, and Rayquaza is right here, peeking from the top, so when I go in my bed, he watches me and scans whoever goes in my bed. And then there's a Torchic, and then Beware, he's really soft, and then Xerneas, this Pokemon was the Pokemon on my shirt I showed you earlier. Then this is a silver Pikachu. I really like this one. And then Solgaleo. I almost forgot one of my favorite ones. Dun -dun -dun! It's a huge Pokeball. It's like a mega version of this one. See, they're identical. <laughs> Except for the size. One is big, one is small. Ta da! I have a Pokemon hat. It's really soft. Look how cool it is. And here's the back. These little arm things move. <laughs> now, onto the Pokemon toy. my Pokemon toys. I have a lot of them. There's Blastoise, World, Turtle, Squirtle, Leafeon, Leafeon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Pikachu, Flareon. And then there's silver ones that I really want to get. There's an Eevee that's silver. I really want to get it at the store. Then my two favorites are probably these two. Gyarados. He's really cool because he's like huge. And then Articuno, he's also like the same color and big. Then I also really like this one, it's Arceus. Then I have Palkia, and you press this button, the wings flap. And then I also have Zekrom, oh, Articuno. <laughs> and when you press this button, his wings and arms start flapping like this. Then I have Dialga, which is right here. When you push his tail, then his head moves. That's really cool, right? Yeah, I have a lot of... Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'll just quickly fix it. Drive and beware if you make its legs go together, its arms move. And this one, it's cool because its legs you could do this you push them up, then they do that. And on, on this, it looks like this. And then Charizard, he has this little fireball flamethrower in his mouth. <laughs> 
now it's time to see all of my, well, not all of them, but more Pokemon stuffed animals. This bin is like full of them. Kyogre, Wimscott, Lycanroc, I have Mega Charizard X, then I have Piplup, then Charmander, Charmander. Next then I have Lucario, and then I have a more Pekko dressed up in a Gengar costume. Then I have another one, it's Pikachu dressed up in the same costume that, that the hat I was wearing earlier. And then the final one, Yamper dressed up in a Zigzagoon costume. Pokemon Legos. I have this Squirtle, but it, its back got lost because I think I dropped it somewhere and I couldn't find it. But then I have Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Super cute. Then I have a Charmander. Then I got this Lego set for my birthday and I built this one all by myself. It's Lucario and Riolu. Then I have this huge Tyranitar. It's really big. My auntie helped me build that. I have Charmeleon. Charmeleon. I have the evolved form of Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. Ivysaur. I have Bidoof. And last but not least, Pikachu. Pikachu. Moving on, I have an art piece with Pikachu on it that my sister Alyssa gave to me. Then I have a pocket over here a really cool Pikachu one. I have these. It's 3D printed Pokemon. So I have a Pokemon ball holder. Is that from your uncle? Yeah, my dad's brother. Then there's Charmander and Bulbasaur. Then when you push it, you could open the Pokeball. Yeah, yeah. those take like 16 hours to print on the 3D printers. It yeah. takes a long time. And they're actually really cool. It opens up, and you could put Pokemon inside of it. I'll probably put Bulbasaur inside. Then you can shut it. Then you can put it right back exactly where it was. Then I have this Pokemon fanny pack. It's really cool. There's Pikachu on it. And there's this zipper. It opens up. Then there's the bigger zipper that looks like that inside and then one more pokemon thing that i have to show you it's in between my bed and the wall is my piggy bank here it is it's glass so i have to be very careful with it and it's pikachu sitting on a pokeball isn't it so cute and then you can hear the coins in it. <laughs> and then you take this off to open it. And then you could see my coins. <laughs> and that's my coins. I have a lot of pennies. I probably have a couple of dollars of pennies only. Then I have this Pokemon box that Zamazenta right there. I have another Pokemon box. It's good for holding stuff. And inside of this Pokemon box is some bouncy balls. Yeah, and I have this one. This is a really cool Pokemon box. As you can see, probably pretty obvious, Pikachu right there. And then here's some more Pokemon down here. And on the bottom, that's the shape of Pikachu's tail. If you didn't notice under my poppets, I have a Pokemon pillowcase right there. It's Pikachu. Now, time for the next thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Before I go to my closet and get my Pokemon cards, I have some more Pokemon in here. So, I have this cool one. When you press this button, it all comes out. There's those little 
things right there. These poke into there. Then it's like that. Then this, it goes into that little hole. Then it stays together like this. This is an ultra ball. Then I have a great ball. Pikachu inside of it. You can close it up also. Then we also have a quick ball with another Pikachu in it. I also have, let's see, best for last of the belts. I have this cool Pokemon belt. It's a classic Pokeball belt. When you press this, it opens up. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> and you could put it back together. Now, a really cool belt. It's pretty similar, except on the Pokeball, you just press this, and then that comes out. And now, for the final Pokemon thing in this bin. Dun, dun, dun. You may think it's just an ordinary Pokemon box, but really, when you open it up, watch this. This is what it actually is. And right here, you little, you get that tab, and then you hold the volcano up like that. There, let's put it right there, that's perfect. So you could make the volcano erupt, but not only just that, when you put the boulder there, you could push this lever down, then it pushes a button on the boulder, then it goes down, then it lands on this, and then that spins. There, and there's also some ground or fire type Pokemon in there. There's more to it though. You could put this bridge right here, and it could go there. Then you pull this out, and then Exeggutor comes out of this little grass pouch. That's really cool. You could put the bridge here or here. I like putting it on the grass more. I put the type of Pokemon where they go. So Bulbasaur is grass type, so I put it on the grass. And then Squirtle is water type, so I like putting it on the water. Then I put Charmander near the fire, so I like putting him right here in the lava. Sometimes I put him right there. And Pikachu, where did I put Pikachu? Now I found Pikachu, he was hiding in the Pokeball. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to be there, but you have to. Okay, I should put Pikachu right here. And then watch this. When you make Squirtle move, the diglets pop up. And you could put this leaf somewhere. It goes right in front of this Pokemon, hide in the bushes. And then if you want to, you could move the leaf. You see a Pokemon there. Time for the best part, my Pokemon cards. Wait, but before I get my Pokemon, as you could probably see, I have a Pokemon poster right here. Blastoise, Gengar, Gyarados, Charmander, Pichu, Bulbasaur, Psyduck, Venusaur, Mew, Cubone, Charizard, Snorlax, Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, Lucario, Squirtle, Meowth, Ditto, Lapras, Charmeleon, Ivysaur, Togepi, Wobbuffet, Eevee, Pikachu, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Dragonite, Long Turtle, and Raichu. That's all of them. And then, now, I could get my Pokemon. Dun, dun, dun. I've got two Pokemon pillows behind me, if you didn't see that. Now I could finally show you my Pokemon cards. It has to be on the Pokemon rug. Everything Pokemon. Here's my Pokemon cards. So I have two really cool gold cards. I'm gonna pull them out to show you. I have an Ultra Ball and an Electro Charger. These are my most rare cards I have. They're really, very, very, very rare. How much do you think they're worth? I don't know, probably a lot. Like more than $20? Whoa, way more like than Like $100 that. or 200 Oh, probably like 
500. Wow. Even this is probably about uh, like $20. So I have two hyper rares here. And I have a VMAX hyper rare, Leafeon. And here are some of my VMAXs I really like. And I'll show you the most colorful cards. I have this really cool town flame. Then I have Shaman. Then I have Zara Aura and Victini. This one is super cool. Then Surfetched and Cleaver V. And I have Arceus V. Then these three, you might recognize some of them. This is Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, but they're Galarian version. So it's purple instead of blue. Then this is orange instead of yellow. And this is red and black instead of orange. Then I have, this is a really cool trainer. Then I got a pin with this pack. Then I got Charon's Care and Arceus. That's probably one of my favorite Pokemon cards. Then I have Oranguru, that's a four. I like four. Then Kingdra, then Dragonite, and then probably my favorite four is Jolteon really cool. You may not have realized that I skipped through a lot of pages to get to the very end. And right back here, my Pokemon binder is actually almost full. It's only two pages left, but thank goodness I have another one for the more cards that I get. And here's some pretty cool cards. I like these two a lot. And then, this is the best cards. My favorite and my most rare card I've ever had and probably ever will have is in this stack of cards. Let's go least rare to most rare. There's this cool Dragapult, 150 damage. Then Mega Salamence. Then Mega Sharpedo, I got this for my birthday. And Mega Lucario, I traded this for my brother Zach. And then I have Primarina GX. I traded this from my friend. Then I got Incineroar GX from Christmas. And then Double V. I actually forgot where I got that one. And Alkazam I got at the store. My mom bought it for me. And then this one I think I got for my birthday. Then my favorite three, Zashi and V. This one is super, super, super duper cool. Every time I do a Pokemon battle with my brother, Zach or Chris, I probably use this card. And then Cleavor V-Star, that's even better than a V. And then my most rare and my favorite card, my gold card. It's Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team. I probably have the most rare gold card more rare than Zax because Zax is just one Pokemon. He has a couple of them, but this one is two Pokemon, which is even more rare. This is super cool. I really want another one, but it's so rare to pull them. I don't think I ever will. It's very rare. In case you didn't know, these larger cards are called big cards and jumbo cards. So as you can see, some of them were bigger than the others but that's not because of the rareness or anything else. It's because this is called a big card and this is called a jumbo card. So that's the difference in between a big card and jumbo card. Is the jumbo card the largest card they make? Yeah. Here's some more Pokemon cases I have. I have these cool thick ones that are very safe. You're probably not gonna bend a Pokemon in this. It's really thick. So you could put like your rare Pokemon, if you get a small gold card, you could put it in like this kind of case and it won't bend or scratch at all because it's very safe. Then these ones, I have a textured case. Then I have a clear one. Then a red one, my favorite. Well, I hope you guys liked watching my Pokemon haul and let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon item was. Thanks for watching. Bye!